Yeah, 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 man. You already know what the fuck it is, man. DJ Jerry, K, the voice of the streets. This is that motherfucking Mixing Trappers Radio, man. I got a special guest in the building, bitch. All the way from Vegas, ho. So, Gotti, man. What's happening? Yo, yo, yo. What's good? What's good, my dog? What you on, DJ Jerry? <laughs> what's happening, dog? Man. man. This is your first time in Milwaukee, bro? Yeah. yeah well, actually, it's my second time. Second time. It's my second time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, what, what you thinking? What you doing out here, bro? You just kicking it? Uh, I'm out here with my with my bro, Big Jew. I'm yes, like, he, he taking me around the city. He been, you know, getting me interviews. I'm to shoot some videos out here. Just grinding, really networking, because yeah. I'm on tour right now. So yeah. I've just been trying to just stop in cities in between and and you know, fuck around yeah, for real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, dog. You all the way from Vegas, bro. Like that shit crazy. Like straight up. The people, like you know, anybody, like the first thing they think about when you think about Vegas, they think about that strip. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. They think about partying. They think about winning money. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, That's like the first question I always get. Motherfuckers be like, "Hey, so how do you live in Vegas? Is it just a strip?" And I'd be like, <laughs> "Nah, it ain't just a strip. It's the north side, the east side, the west side, the south side. There's you know houses. There's projects. There's there's everything. You know what I'm saying? Everything in Vegas." Yeah, for sure. What well, uh, what which uh, side of Vegas you from? Um, Central, realistically, bro. But I done lived on all sides of Vegas. Okay, straight up since I was a little kid. You know what mm. I'm saying? Cause you know I didn't come from money, so of course we was, we was more on like the west side, and then slowly but surely my parents like made their way up to like Henderson, which is the south side. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But you know, families is going to move up. You know, regardless of anything. You know, parents they don't want to stay in the same situation. So, you know. Like, the grind go make motherfuckers live in better places. Yeah, yeah, straight up. For real, no, like, cause dog, I ain't gonna lie, I I done been to Vegas like more than anywhere, mm-hmm. like anywhere mm-hmm. that I, I done visited Vegas more than anywhere. Then, like the first c- couple times, it was like tourist strip shit. Mm-hmm. Then after a while, like I started learning about Henderson, started learning about like all the outskirts. Mm-hmm. Like I say, Suge Knight crib, like you know what I'm saying, like yeah, yeah. Uh, Tyson crib, Tyson like crib, yeah. yeah. So it was just like crazy just for me to just see. The whole Vegas, you know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah. and I was just like, dude, I'll move here. Like, the strip ain't even, <laughs> like, it the ain't nothing. strip no- ain't even nothing. Yeah, it ain't it's nothing. Just the strip. It's, it's just the strip. strip. Like, if yeah. you really know Vegas, you'd be like, damn, like, this some, this is a spot I want to live at. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Vegas is, is dope. For real, for real. It's getting more expensive right now, but it's dope. Yeah. It's dope because, you know, right now we're getting all the stadiums, basketball team. We just got a football team. You know, we got the hockey team. So, Oh, there's a bunch of new stadiums open up all through the city. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. It's getting lit for sure. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I know it just happened uh, like two, three days ago, but, uh, you know, uh, LeBron done won the in-season tournament. Bro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> In Vegas, yeah. though. Yeah. <laughs> you watch that shit or you don't fuck with uh, your basketball? I, I don't really listen watch sports. Uh, like, I, I pay attention to, like, boxing and shit, but, yeah. you know, I don't really pay attention to sport at all because I, I don't gamble. You know okay. Saying? I'm from Vegas, so everybody gamble out there. I don't just, I just, It's not my thing. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, but yeah. no, nah, I don't really pay. I had one of my homeboys from Cali that was out there. He's like, "Yeah, that's right. We won in Vegas." I was like, oh, "Okay, <laughs> it's like they turning up. They turn, they going crazy." Right, straight up. That's crazy. But what's your uh, when you first started rapping? Like, how old was you when you first started getting into the rap shit? Um, when I first got into it, I was like, I I've been rapping since I was a, since I was like sixteen, but I didn't take music real serious. Like, I thought it was something that I could like eventually end up being in the situation of being where I'm at, where I'm at today. You know what I'm saying? Um, so realistically, I've been doing this music shit for like ten years. Damn. Yeah. What's up? Yeah. 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 Because yeah. yeah, uh, like uh, when I was watching the video, the OL video, bro, like I automatically knew like you was in uh, L.A. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. and the, and the style was, you know what I'm saying? It definitely was different. You know what I'm saying? Like the shit was hard. I like, appreciate like, you. Yeah. Yeah. Like who you fuck with? Like growing up? Like what type of like what which artists? Like you was like damn. Like I fuck with that. Um, to be real with you, me personally, like I really like. One of my favorites, favorite artists was like Pimp C, Bum B. Um, we can go down like DMX, uh, obviously coming up, you know, Wiz Khalifa. Um, yeah. there's, there, there's been a lot of artists that I really, like, you know, that I really messed with growing up. You know yeah. what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. Yeah. I like a lot, like, I like... Uh, I like I'll be honest with you, bro. I listen to all music. Yeah. I, I'm not really stuck into just hip hop, bro. Like I listen to alternative. I listen to classic. Like I, I like I'm all over the board with music. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like that's why like the new album that I just released. Yeah. Like I always get the question, like like you know what are you? You know they always ask me about being a rapper. I be like I'm not a rapper. I'm an artist. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't just rap. You know what I'm saying? I don't just make rap music. So that's why my vibe is like is everywhere. 
you yeah. know i don't want to just make one type of music that's boring to me to be mm-hmm. real you know what i'm saying Thanks. why just be stuck on one sound when you know your 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 vocal that's that's a that's an instrument you know instruments can do many different things you know what i'm saying so for me i just uh I'm all over the board with people that I like, right. straight up, yeah. straight up. Yeah, and that's the thing with me too. Like, like I, I listen to so many different uh, rappers. Like, it's I, the my main genre is rap, bro. But it's just like I can't listen to the same rapper. Mm-hmm. Like, I just like I like a variety, of different. Right. It's right. just because everybody different. Everybody got got their own yeah. thing going on. Especially like in the past couple of years, how many dope artists. Like like King Von, like yeah. Juice Man, like like all these uh, Juice World, like like so many dope artists that are in the industry that them passed, and they were dope artists, dope artists. So I I fuck with hip hop tough, bro, for real, yeah. for real. I I'll be real with you, Jew. He been putting me on game with that with that Detroit sound and like yeah. like that. Like I was yeah. like, bro, I need you to write down all these artists' names so I could just I, like this is all dope ass music. I fuck with it. I fuck with the sound, you know. From goddamn Milwaukee to Detroit, everywhere, bro. Like this whole West, the whole West, the West, bro, is is dope. Facts. Like y'all sound is dope, for real, for real. Mm-hmm. I fuck with it. Hell yeah, but shit, I was just about to ask you about the Milwaukee music scene. Yeah. Like before you linked up with Jude, did you know anything about the Milwaukee music scene, or you ain't ever hear about it? Um, no, nah, not really, bro. I, I ain't gonna bullshit you. Not really, not yeah. really. Like I, I got some of my boys in town. Like they be bumping it, but to be real with you, I, um. I usually be stuck just playing my own music, bro. Yeah. To be real with you, like for real, for real. So that's why when I was out here, like listening to everything, I was like, damn, man, these artists are dope, mm-hmm. for real, for real. Yeah. Hell yeah, man! You got a new album, man. You know what I'm saying? The outside. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. tell us about that yeah, shit, bro. We're going crazy. Yeah. We're going crazy. Uh, I got a uh, hundred in the couch going crazy. Obviously, oh well. Yeah. That joint went crazy. We hit like 1.4 million views. That shit going. Um, yeah. I got this new video I'm about to release coming out right now with Cap G. That shit gonna go crazy. Yeah. It wasn't me. Like that song is hard as hell. It's hella hard. Uh the project going good. We charted in um we charted in California and Chicago. Damn. And Chicago. That's what's crazy. Yeah. I was uh twenty two on on uh on the charts on Spotify wow. uh in uh in Chicago. That's the same right? <laughs> and, and in California I was fourteen. So it's cool, bro. And I also like it's moving, bro. I just, I'm just trying to keep on applying pressure and keep on pushing, like, you know, doing certain things. But I already got a whole nother album ready to go, you know, so the grind don't stop, you know, That's straight up. You working, bro. Straight up. Now, how you link up with Cap G? Uh, like, how did you even um, get bro on the song? I'll be real with you. I just hit him. Yeah, okay. I just hit him on IG. Yo, okay. what's popping? Because that's what I be doing. Like, like if I don't personally know him, like, I, like how I know, uh, like, Soulja, or I know some of these other artists, like, for me personally, I, I'm bro. I'm an independent artist, bro. Yeah. I mean, I'm. I have. I have a distribution deal with with the Orchard. Okay. But like, I, I mean, I'm in. Like, I'm still independent. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, regardless, you know, and that's how I came up. So me, I tap in. I will tap in, and, and I'm a resource in Vegas. So for the most part, you want to know me. Mm-hmm. You want to know me <laughs> if you come to the city, straight right. up. Right. So, people are always cool though. You know, I, I I just feel like it really just matter how you come at somebody. I don't come at people like a fan because I'm not a fan. You know, I got my own money, my own shit. So, me personally, I'm going to just tap in like a real one and see, see what's good with it. Yeah. You know, straight up. Yeah. I remember uh, early in his career, he hosted a mixtape for me, like, you know, back in the live mixtape days. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's what Cap G he had. I just did the same thing. I literally just hit him up. He said, send the drop script. Yeah. And he sent the drops back. I'm like, what the fuck? He like, quick, bro. He yeah. don't play. He don't play. And he cool as hell, yeah. bro. He cool as hell. Yeah, because I was like, because I'm just like, I would just shoot my shot, bro. Like, I'm Straight like, up. He might do it. He might not. But like, when he really sent it, I was like, damn, like, that's what made me y'all always. And it was it was probably like two seconds. You sent the shit and it wasn't even that much time before he hit you right back. No, right? it wasn't that, that fast. Though. Oh, for me, bro, I swear it was like not even five minutes, bro. He started damn. talking quick. I was like, damn, that was... That's what's up. Yeah. That's yeah, see, up. see, I had hit him. I think he hit me. He hit me the same day, though. Uh-huh. It was the same day. So it's but, the same thing. For yeah, sure. but, but then yeah. he has, I sent the draft script. The next day, he sent the shit back. That's heavy. <laughs> I was like, that's Damn. heavy. For sure, for sure. <laughs> yeah. But um, you, you see, uh, oh, yeah, what's your nationality? Uh, um, Well, so I my, my family, like my mom, she was raised in South America because okay. obviously, like, her mom's French and her dad's Italian. My dad's family Sicilian and and from Spain, so they all migrated because of the war and all that shit going on back then. Cause my dad eighty years old. Okay. You know what I'm saying so my my parents is a little bit older and shit. My mm. 
So like they migrated there. So basically like I'm 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 that. But then again, like my family, they were they were raised in South America, which is Chile. Chile. So yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, dog. Cause I was about to say Mexican. That's why I was like, I ain't wanna. No, no, no it's yeah. all good. It, yeah. Both my kids is Mexican, bro. Okay. So you know, okay. it's all good. I don't care. Okay, that's what's straight good. up. Yeah, but what was that like, dog? Just even having a background like that with the different nationalities. You know what I'm saying? With your parents, period. Um, it. It's growing up. Growing up is. Yeah. I'll be real with you. Like it's cool. Like you know, uh, I mean, the same thing, bro. It's the same thing. It ain't no different. You know what I'm saying? And if, uh, uh, to be real with you, like, I was raised all over the place, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying, to be honest. But, uh, but like, I, I, I don't have no complaints about my upbringing, bro. Mm-hmm. My upbringing brought, built the person that I am today so I could ever never knock or even talk down on my upbringing. That's why I don't really, like, get into all that, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, it's, it was cool, bro. It nice. was cool, straight up, straight up. Yeah, yeah, cause I was about to say, bro, it's, it's plenty, like, different type of artists that's coming out. You see D-Baby. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Like, he going crazy. Yeah. Uh, Mexican OT. Uh, yeah, Mexican OT. Yeah, I'm, trying to, I'm, I'm about to do some nuts, features bro. with both of them, too. Yeah. Watch. You're going to see. Yeah. You're going to see. I'm yeah. about to, the shit that I'm going to play, that we're going to do the... Uh, no rap cap? No, the, yeah, yeah, the no rap cap. Yeah. That's, I, I'm, I'm going to send that shit right now to D-Baby. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That so I, I got hard, some shit, bro. bro. I got some shit. I was already going to throw... Uh, I was actually gonna uh, uh, hunt it in the couch. One of the singles on uh, on outside. I was originally gonna send that to uh, the Mexican OT. Okay. But to be real with you, like Cap G was plugging me in, but I was still handling other shit. And I was like, you know what, this thing needs to just drop. So I just knocked it out and just dropped and it. got it done and dropped it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But motherfuckers have already been in talks with working with them for sure. Straight yeah. up, I gotta I, I gotta work with Latinos. You know what I mean? Yes. Dog. Straight up, straight yeah. up. Yeah, dog. Cause I feel like like. No matter what nationality, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just, as long as the shit hard and the music good and y'all doing what y'all I'll be real to. with you. You a human being, right? I'm a human being, too. So it don't matter. It don't matter. Brown, black, whatever. You know, we all human beings. So, you know, straight up. Thanks. As long as you going crazy with the music. Straight shit, up. Like, that's all that matters. Straight matter. up. Like, oh, my mama. Hell yeah. So, yeah, but uh, I don't know if you want to hit it or not, but, like, you know, like, Diddy, bro, like, he been having, like, crazy accusations you know what i'm saying like mm-hmm. i don't know if it's been four or five different people you know what i'm saying been coming out saying all type of crazy shit with cassie you know he paid her the next day you know what i mean like you know what i'm saying like they the whole going, the whole world got it going crazy they, they yeah. doing him how they did cosby yeah they yeah, doing definitely. him the exact same way they did cosby bro yeah. but we don't know what's on the back side you see, cause Bill Cosby tried to buy try to buy CB uh, NBC. Uh, NBC back yeah. in the day, and that's why they've been fucking him his whole life, bro. Mm-hmm. So to be real with you, we don't really know the reason why they're trying to do this to Diddy. You know, I feel bad for Diddy though, straight up. But it's cool. He 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 well rounded. He gonna be good. I don't see him falling off from this. You know, I don't see. He he got bread. He gonna go ahead and pay that little chump change, and he gonna keep on moving. That's crazy. Straight up. Yeah, so you say you, you definitely can see Diddy bouncing back from this shit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. You have to imagine how high that dude's power is. Yeah. People people seem to forget, like, like, bro, that man, that man's, I ain't going to say too much, bro, but yeah, he going to be He good, got pot bro. killed in Vegas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He got, I, he got I, I, once again, Vegas, bro, <laughs> a bunch of shit that I like, you know, the, the game crazy. I'm going to say that. The yeah. game crazy yeah. and, uh, uh, and. And I'm going to just keep my mouth shut about a lot of that shit, though. Right, know? right. But I'm going to say Diddy going to get out of it. You know what I'm okay. saying? That that man's a real, he's, he's a baller, bro. Uh, you know, he's 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 one of the different ones, bro. You have to, ain't no one did it like Diddy, bro. Right. Think about that. Ain't no one did it like Diddy, dog. You're you know right, bro. You're right, bro. It's just like, I, I'm a, just a diehard Pac fan, bro. Yeah. Like, like I'm a diehard Pac Bro, Pac I'm fan. from Vegas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm from I'm from Vegas. And Pac, Pac besides... Besides doing what you know, the New York thing and leaving there and all the places that he had eventually got raised in, you know what I'm saying? Like he was his main places were when he was popping was Cali, Cali and Vegas. Cali, Cali and Vegas. Vegas you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> you know. I fuck with Pac, bro. I fuck I fuck with all artists, especially. Yeah. What's crazy though that I will say is how how the them Pac and Biggie dying made such like a big deal, right? But mm. do you see how big these artists that have died today are and it ain't a big deal? Right. Like they still talking about Pac and Biggie, bro, but to be real with you, look at all these artists, King Von, 
Jewish world, a lot of these are, are, are little people. Like, well, yeah. little peep, he wasn't murdered, but you know, just people that just died, they passed, yeah. pass, and yeah. being and being in the in the pinnacle of their success. Not really, some of them not even hitting the pinnacle, bro. And to be real with you, their numbers surpass Biggie, surpass Tupac, bro. Like, but people don't talk about that. Mm -hmm. I'll be real with you, the generation, what's coming on, what's going on now. These artists is dope, bro. Yeah, they 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 they, they in my eyes. Like, of course, Biggie and Tupac, they were big for their time, bro. And they they didn't make timeless music. But I guarantee the music that's been made today in, in 10, 15 years is timeless music too, bro. Yeah. Straight up. That's crazy. Dude, that's what's up, dog. Like, you the first person I heard actually say that, bro. Yeah. Like, that you feel like the music today will be timeless too. Because, you know, some people be like, man, it's just TikTok. It's just trendy shit that's nah, going on, bro. People like, don't understand you evolving. Like, like, like. Everything is just evolved, bro. So that's just the move. That's just what it is. And you have to imagine the people that started it. It might not be all the ones that are running with the trend, but it'll definitely be the people that started the trend. Facts. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy, dog. That, and I feel like that too, but because uh, me and my daughter, we was talking a while ago about this. Uh, I said this, something similar. I was like, man, you see, it's, it's been like 27 years. They still talking about Tupac. Mm -hmm. and, uh, she's a big XXX, uh, XXX Tatasio huge, fan. Bro. Yeah. Huge artist. Yeah. Huge and fucking artist. And I said, do you think that they'll be talking about him? 27 years from now, she said, yeah. Like, she definitely his, said, yeah. His, his music, bro, his music is, is crazy. Like, to see when he came out, uh, how the how the kids, like, like came to him, bro. Yeah. Because it's about the kids, bro. The kids, are, you know, that 13 to 18 range, the, those are the superstars, bro. Like, like those, them artists that lock in that age group, bro. Why do you think Soldier was so big? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you have to that's remember. My like, yeah, yeah, that's my era, yeah. That's my era, too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, come on now. Like for real, yeah, straight up, man. I just remember Soldier Boy. Like I, I didn't even give a fuck about like nothing he had going on. No, I was no. like, man, this hard. Yeah, like, that Superman, yeah. bro. I was like, man, shit, to crank that all that. Yeah. I was like, bro, this hard. And he bro. did all that shit on his own too. He made those beats. He did all that. He did all that. He start. He low key. I, I seen a plaque in his crib, bro. How how YouTube thanked him. <laughs> YouTube thanked him, bro. So like, <laughs> like he built that. He That's built crazy. YouTube for real. That's he crazy. built into. Yeah, but shit, uh, you you know him like uh, what is Soldier Boy like uh, off camera? You know what I'm saying, like behind the scenes. Soldier, a cool cat, bro. Yeah, he a cool cat. I ain't got no complaints on Soldier. A lot, a lot of other motherfuckers don't like him, but to be real with you, I got my own money, my own shit, so I ain't really ever had no reason not to like him. I just always, you know, it's my boy. We do what we do, and I get back at doing what I do. Facts, straight up. Facts, on the real man. No, the album out, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like outside, straight you know, up, man. Make sure y'all stream that, shit, man. Straight all platforms. Up. You know what I'm saying? We going crazy, man. Oh, got him, man. So got him, man. My so dog, got him. my dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, who you want to shout out, bro? Before you get out this month, man. Everybody, Milwaukee. Yeah. It's your boy, so gaudy, man. Yeah. I'm in the city. I'm, I'm, I'm. I've been popping out all week. I've been having promos, <laughs> only being promoted in y'all city. Yeah. So that was the cool thing. Is when I went to the when I went to uh. To um, Infinity Lounge, bro. Yeah. I got stopped by so many people. Like, hey, yo, respect. I see yo, yo, you, you promoting to the city right now. How you in the city? And I was like, straight up. Yeah, yeah. I'm outside. I'm out here. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my dog, Big Jew. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out my dog, Big Jew, for bringing me out. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, 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 and uh, and y'all motherfuckers know the vibe, man. Follow me at So Gordy. Yeah. You can watch my. I got. I'm on all streaming sites. Yeah. I'm on all streaming sites, new and old. The new one's popping out. You're going to see So Gordy on it. Like I said, outside, it's out now. Yeah. Go get that. You ain't want to buy it? All right, don't buy it. Go put it on in your playlist Facts. on iTunes. You ain't got to buy shit. Mm -hmm. Stream it. Play that shit. Go see if you might find something you like. Facts. Fuck it. Maybe you might not like it and say, fuck this shit. Go ahead. Do your thing, though. I know y'all going to lock in. And also... Don't let me forget, big shout out to Mixtape Trappers and big shout out to my dog, DJ Jerry. Y'all know the vibes. Yeah. You already know what the fuck it is, man. DJ Jerry, a.k.a. the voice of the streets. It's that motherfucking Mixtape Trappers in the radio, man. I got my dog in the building. So gaudy, man. What's happening? Let's go. Let's go. No rap cap. It's you next. You know what I mean? It's next.